2019. Roll call. We have Jason Greenleaf here. Joe Carroll is absent. He's had an excuse absent. Charlie Anderson. Here. Ben Viola. Here. Judith Cavallaro. Present. Paul Rodriguez. Here. And I'm Nick Rico. All right. Approval of the minutes from the March 29, 2019 regular monthly meeting. So moved. Second. Are there any additions, subtractions, corrections? Yes. Excellent. Um, on page two, down in the item E, uh, under five, uh, item E, the YSI, I don't, <clears throat> is, do you have an actual name? That, that is the actual name. Oh, YSI. YSI. That's the vendor's name. There, there's nothing, okay. Well, <laughs> I guess that's it then. But I did have another one. Um, OPEG on page four. It's actually, it should be other post employment benefits. Where it goes? Oh, down in the, coming up from the bottom, one, two, the third paragraph in the bottom. Other OPED? Yeah, what does it stand for again? Other post, post employment benefits. Employment benefits. Employee. Yeah, it should be. Got it. And then uh, this, get another acronym there in the next sentence. M M E H T. Maine Municipal Employees Health Trust. Yeah, you probably should define that. Okay, write it out. Primary goal.
Copy of the pump station closed for the month of March is included in the packet. As noted, there was a rain melt event on the 22nd that caused high flows of several of the stations. Also, there were two other anomalies, one due to a hydro ranger failure, which controls the level in the uh, wet wells, but also um, tabulates the flow for us, and uh, one due to a scheduled maintenance for valve replacement. Uh, Huck is providing the district with a, a new SC-1000 controller to pilot test, which they claim they have greatly improved. We will find out. And um, we're doing this as trying to val evaluate our options to provide redundancy in our DO control scheme. Uh, Glenn, Phil, Jay, and I attended a training course held at Portland Water District uh, on fats, oils, and grease. Um, I met with Todd Jepson. Uh, the school's facility manager about the addition of four new portable classrooms at Eight Corners School. Uh, they will be submitting the required documents for district approval uh, probably next month. Uh, we've been meeting with uh, NDS to finalize a new bill format. Uh, and uh, we should be going live with the new system beginning this quarter with the commercial billing. Biggest changes uh, will be the addition of historical uh, data on the bill as well. On the 8th, Albert McCormick Scarborough High School uh, AP environmental class toured the Scarborough Sanitary District with Rutgers facility. Uh, the tour was great. The kids were, you know, really were uh, impressive and had a lot of great questions. Um, and, uh, Teacher promised to be back next year and to do it again. And was going to even suggest the tour to other teachers, including those with an engineering focus. So I provided a couple pictures of the, of the kids out on the aeration tank and then out there in the Headworks building. Which, uh, <laughs> Covering their faces. <laughs> um, so, but they, they, they really were. They were a lot of fun. Uh, and actually, I had one other tour this, this past month. I had... Um, my son's uh, Cub Scout group came for a tour of the, the treatment plant uh, uh, a week or so ago. And, uh, yeah, they had a lot of fun. It was obviously a different level, but it was really good. So. Uh, it, was, it was a good, good month for tours. <laughs> uh, and that's what I have in my Any questions for the superintendent? Center has, uh, has requested it provides data technics to be attached to the requesting ability to serve for uh, the proposed 1,000 square foot medical office building be located on um, MMC's US uh, Route 1 campus. Question on that. Mm -hmm. At one time, they I think they were behind on the capacity reserve right now with the data. Uh, yes, they are. We, we, uh, put, we keep track of it. We're at one, this is the time of year where we actually go back and look at capacity reserve, um, uh, approved flows and compare them to capacity hmm. reserve. So where they, oh, that's a fuzzy. Um, we'll be looking, evaluating where they are right now.
Hey, um, old business. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Just a question. 4,260 4, gallons per day number. Is that the number that they provided us with? Yes. Thank you. Cool. Wow. Yeah, we're getting quite the feedback. Uh, All right. That was my mic when it's on. Mics are really... Yeah, the mics were the, off. Yeah, the lights were, have been off. When I turned my on, that's when it started. I'm sorry to the people back at home. Fine. We can turn them down. Okay. But it's a whole new system that we're working with. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll make it so. Um, Yours is on, mine's off. If Pardon you me. go to speak, just make sure you turn your mic on. Maybe that's the. And you press the. You push it, and the light will turn green, and it'll be on. What's that? It's supposed to be a mute. They, they just changed it. Okay. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I got an email on it. Good to know. My mic is on now. Any more feedback? All right. Um, on to old business. Um, asset management. Uh, uh, Hoyle Tanner, uh, on our behalf, submitted an application to DEP for a asset management funding match grant. So. Um, we might get a little more cash to help fund what we're doing in that area. Um, as requested, I did notify the school department about the uh, likely sewer rate increase. I also let the, both the school and town manager know about the time and date of uh, the sewer rate increase workshop that we just had uh, prior to this meeting. So they were brought up to speed on that. I completed and submitted the uh, required PFAS sampling analysis plan um, and, uh, a week before it was due. And we also have had Catan Analytical Services collect and send out our PFAS sample of our sludge as required by DEP. We expect the results within a couple weeks and then we'll uh, see what happens there. Uh, our annual audit and report uh, that was presented to the board uh, last month has been posted on our website and is available for the public to view. And I, as we, I did reach out to Christy Gould, the assistant director of the Health Trust Service of Maine, um, Municipal Employee Health Trust, requesting that she present a clarification on the gas B75 requirements. And she, she did recently get back to me after um, uh, after uh, I put these notes together and she uh, on their website they do have um, already prepared a little um, video that addresses uh, the, the Gatsby 75 that their auditor helped them put together so I'll forward that link on to the, uh, the the board members so we can all watch it. I haven't even had an opportunity to, to, to review it. And then um, if additional questions are uh, needed to be addressed, we'll go from there. Excuse me. Did you, a, did you ask her to come and present to us? Yes. And, and, she, know, I said and, my, she, and my, she said watch the video first? Yes. Very <laughs> <Anyway>, much. <Okay. laughs> um, so... That's it. That's the old business. Any more questions for the superintendent? I, I, I do have one thing I'm going to add to old business, and um, uh, it's regard to, to Verizon. Um, they did recently uh, submit to us an amendment to their lease um, just last week, uh, beginning of this week. I can't remember which. Um, and I haven't had an opportunity to look at it or view it or send it off to legal counsel at this point. At this point, so I just wanted to let you know that we did get um, an amendment to our lease, and it's to relocate the uh, the tower to that alternate location. So no need for a workshop next month, but it will be on the agenda to discuss. 
Um, yeah, let me good. review it, and I'll let you know whether we need a workshop to discuss it, or have an agenda, or. Cool. Well, we're going to schedule a workshop for the rate discussion. Continue the rate discussion right. yeah. anyway, so we could, if we need to add it, that could be added, I guess. And cool. that's all I have. I'll Any questions for the superintendent? Okay, new business. Uh, just the three months budget summary is included in the packet. I wanted to point out uh, that the material supply equipment line is over budget with regard to actual and year to date budgets due to the uh, $10,000 that we expended on repairing the emergency generators automatic transfer switch. Other line item overages are really just due to a timing issue. And I recommend approval. Move approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Who moved the approval. approval? I did not catch that. I did. Jason and Charlie. Thank you, Public comment. Be my guest. Please identify Please. yourself at the mic. Is that Marvin? Excuse me. Is that Mike on? I can't. Yeah. Okay. It is. Uh, very much appreciate uh, the chance to talk. This is not about any of your new business today. It's about what uh, Dave Hughes just talked about. The question about the Verizon lease amendment. And any time I've been here, I always represent only myself. A few others who are interested in this uh, shot around it. interested and uh, we watched the agenda being published and if it was on it we would try to attend and participate as much as, as appropriate. Um, when we saw for the last couple of months that it hasn't appeared, uh, somebody wrote an email and said would somebody please call Francine, pardon me, and ask when it might appear and I chimed in and said, I had conversations with Mr. Hughes and a couple of conversations with Ms. Libby. I don't think if you ask them when is it going to appear that they're really going to be able to tell you much. Maybe somebody should show up at this meeting. And of course, as soon as I said that, everybody said, we're not available. Why don't you do that? So uh, basically, the general question, I think, uh, Ms. Dave Hughes just answered for me, but a couple of the questions the community had were, um, have there been any developments? And I think we've just answered that. And the next question is uh, the simple one. Uh, if there is a workshop, or otherwise if it appears on the agenda, I know we'll know it. Uh, if there's a workshop, we will also, that will appear on the agenda as well. We send out a separate workshop agenda. Okay. Yeah. And if we're on the list to receive mm -hmm. those emails, we'll receive those. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Thank really you for coming. Appreciate your work. Thank you. And because there's no other public comment, we'll go for trustees comments. Judah. My comment is I'm thrilled to be back in the state of Maine, even though when we left Florida drove, we hit the main turnpike. Snow, sleet, 45 per hour speed limit that nobody believes, nobody practices it except us, and then we had to move a little faster, but I'm thrilled to be back in Maine and at this board meeting. Your turn. <laughs> so I, think, I want to thank Dave for the workshop tonight, putting the numbers together and uh, getting us started on that. It's, Usually a long process to to do to go go over the numbers for a possible increase, but um, I want to thank you and, and Wendy as well. Um, my father passed away last month, and I think we got a, a flowers in, from the district. I want to thank the district for that, and uh, I think that's it for me. Thank you. Oh. 
I uh, wanted to thank Dave and Glenn. Um, they gave uh, a really great in-depth tour of the facility for me last month, and so I really appreciate your time. And it was uh, definitely very helpful for me to to see. And I I did want to want to comment that um, in my 20 plus years in wastewater, I've I've been to a lot of treatment plants. I've spent a lot of time in a lot of treatment plants, and and uh, I was very impressed. Uh, I think we're all very proud of, of the work you do, and, and it's very clear that um, the facility is maintained with a lot of pride, and uh, that was really cool. Thank you for that. Cool. Charlie. Uh, welcome back, Judith. Thank you. To the, to the uh, mid-winter climbs here. Still, I still <laughs> advise people that coming back at this point in time is still too early. Um, thanks, Dave. Uh, for your work with the school kids and for uh, the work that you did on budget projections uh, for tonight's workshop. Uh, they were re really helpful and right on the mark, I think. And it uh, be interesting to see where we go with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <coughs> and happy spring, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, echo everybody's comment. Thanks to the staff, as always, and an exceptional the job uh, down there every Friday morning, typically. Uh, nice to always see Wendy and Francine smiling face out front, and of course Phil's always out front too. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, Dave, for uh, putting together the projections. Very informative, and also huge thanks to Wendy for all of her work on the auto billing. You know that's not an easy task. That's all I have. Cool. Um, first, condolences to Ben and his family on his dad's passing. <coughs> Second, thank you, Dave, for your three tours, two for the kids, one for Paul. <laughs> uh, thanks for the workshop. I appreciate it. Welcome back, Judith. Thank you. And kudos to Wendy on the building upgrade at NDS. I know it's not easy. But you're doing a great job. Keep it up. And with that, I'll entertain the final motion of the evening. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Would you like your packet back? I guess now we have two drums on. I'll give you your pet. I guess. Just push it and then go on.